One of the most common questions that I get is what should the length of my pants or my jeans be? So I want to address that today. And if you're new around here, my name is Jamie. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe and the little bell to get notifications so you can help my channel grow. So in this video, I don't want to go over specific lengths that I think your pants should be. I want to help you try to figure it out for yourself because with everyone being a different height, shape, size this is all going to be different for everyone and it's also going to be different depending on what shoes you wear so i'm going to show you a lot of these jeans and pants that i have with flats with sneakers and with heels so you can see the difference in shorter options longer options and i'm going to tell you a few things that really don't work but i think the things that do there are a number of them and you can choose for you whatever it is that you like so to give you a little bit of advice if you have to hem your pants or jeans just make sure if it's a material that's going to draw up that you wash it before you do it and then when you go see an alterations person then make sure you bring your shoes. Figure out what shoes you're going to wear with these, whether it's a flat and a heel, which sometimes you can find a happy medium in some of these styles, sometimes you can't. So just make sure that you do that and you will get the best results possible and your pants and jeans will always look good. So I wanna start off with a slim straight jean because I think this is the most universally flattering jean. And I actually have two different lengths in this jean, so I thought it would be a good comparison. So I have a pair that's a little bit longer, it's 27 inches, and then I have a pair that's about 25 and a half inches in the inseam. And so you can see the difference here with the flat sandals. So flat sandals like this, little slides, are going to show a lot more skin. So I think if you have a longer pair, that these actually can look pretty good. And I thought the shorter pair was okay. Sometimes I feel like these are high waters on me, depending on what I have on. So I really think it is personal preference here. My personal preference would probably be the longer pair most of the time. And then if I just felt like they were a little bit too long, I would just maybe cuff them up once if I was in a really casual outfit. So a very common shoe nowadays is a ballet flat. And I think ballet flats give a little bit more coverage than your slide sandals. So I wanted to show you this and I think both of them look pretty good as well. So you can see where it would be personal preference. Some of you may be looking at the shorter pair saying, I, those look terrible. And some might be looking at the longer pair. My personal preference would be the little bit longer pair because I think I have enough skin showing. And I think when my jeans are a little bit longer, I feel like it makes me look a little bit taller since I am 5'4". And so I would choose the longer pair, but I think that the shorter pair would work if that is what I wanted to do. So now this is where you really have to watch out for the length of your jeans. It's when you put on heels because heels are going to give you more height off the floor from the bottom of the floor to your jean hem, so the end of your hem, and then it's going to give you more height overall. So I think when you have more height overall and you have a little bit of a longer pair of jeans on, I think it actually makes you look a little bit taller. And I think there's enough skin showing when you have a heel on that it actually works just fine with the longer pair. The shorter pair, I think, get way too short here. And I experienced this when I had these on in a video, and I saw the video I did in the fall with a pair of tall boots, like they're, uh, or high-heeled boots, not knee-high boots, but heeled boots, and I just did not like them. I thought they looked too short. So if you are a little bit taller, you might wanna think about just showing a little bit of your ankle. The key here, I think, is to show some skin. Maybe if I went up an inch on the longer pair, maybe to a 26, it would be a happy medium, but it just hasn't been worth my time or money to go and have them hemmed because I think they look good. And they might be able to look a little bit better, but this is where there's a fine line between what you think, how much effort goes into it, and really how bad does it look? So now for the chunky sneakers, which I think with chunky sneakers, which are really popular still, 
I think that there is a fine line here. I actually like the shorter pair with the sneakers as opposed to the longer pair. If I were to wear the longer pair, I would just cuff them up once so I had a little bit more skin showing. So the pants are actually laying, the jeans are laying on top of the tongue of the shoe. You can, when I walk, I can feel it hit it. So I don't think I have quite enough skin showing here. And in my personal opinion, it looks better with a shorter pair. Now I want to show you a 90 straight leg, which is a little bit of a looser straight leg jean. And I really think the wider and looser the leg, the more we have to pay attention to the inseam of the jeans or pants. And so the first example I want to show you again is with the flats that actually expose a lot of my foot. And even though I thought I could wear the full length version here, I liked the cuff version better. I just think with these jeans, I always want to cuff them and that's my personal preference. So if you don't like cuffing, then you may just want to find the length of jeans in this style if you have it that actually works with whatever shoes you wear. And I would wear flat sandals with these and a tank top or t-shirt in the spring and summer, and I would just feel better with them cuffed. So I actually think totally opposite when I put a pair of heels on with these because I really love the jeans full length with the heels. I think it exposes enough skin on my feet and it, there's just a tad bit of my ankle showing and I think it's perfect. So if you wanted to make these a little bit shorter for heels, then you could do that, but this doesn't bother me at all. Some people might say they're too long, but I think they look really good. Now I wanna take a look at the length of flare jeans and I get the question of what length should my flare jeans be all the time? Because they are a little bit difficult, especially if you wanna wear different shoe options with them. A lot of times you just really can't. You would have to have two different pairs because I think it is important that since that flare is pretty tight in the leg and then really opens up on the top of the foot, that you really want it to lay properly on the top of the foot. So you don't want it to bunch up too much like you can see with the shorter heel that I have on because I actually have these for higher heels because I think they look best with higher heels. I think they lay over the foot properly and I just make sure that it touches my foot on the front and there's no bagging in the front and then just comes a little a bit above the floor in the back. So you don't want it dragging the floor either. So I think that's the way they look the best. Whether you choose to have it a little bit shorter or a little bit longer, depending, just I wouldn't have it drag the floor. I would have it just touch the top of your foot and not bunch. I really feel the same way about wide legs that are full length as I do flare legs. Because once you get that wider bottom, it really just needs to lay properly. And I do think with wide legs, you could do a little bit more options with your shoes if you could find the right length or just have a couple pairs of the same because I do think that wide legs can look really good with sneakers and flatter shoes. You just need to make sure that they don't touch the ground. They need to lay very nicely and not look sloppy because when you have those wider legs and you get so much material, it just doesn't look good. I would actually prefer looking at some that were a little bit shorter than a little bit too long. Now for the style that causes the biggest dilemma, and that is a wide leg crop jean or pant. But once I played around with them, I actually thought that this was one of the easiest styles other than the slim straight leg to wear with all shoe options. So the first thing I did is I put on a pair of black flowy cropped wide leg pants that I have that I need to get hemmed. So I wanted to show you these because you can see that they are an ankle length, which is not cropped. And having a wide leg at this length just looks really funny. It just, it doesn't, it just doesn't look right. And I can't figure out why, but it just doesn't look right. So I took a pair of wide leg jeans that were full length that I have, and I cut them off into a pair of crop jeans. And it actually made me really excited because I got to play around with them and figure out where I wanted them to land. So you can see where they land. And when they come up shorter and cut off the calf, it just looks really bad. And then when they're 
long, they just look weird. So I think for a wide leg crop, pant or jean, you just need to put them on and see where you like them to land. And I think if you're a little bit taller, you might want them a little bit longer. And if you're a little bit shorter, you might want them a little bit shorter than how I had them. I just think I would avoid that area that is cutting off right in the middle of the calf. So I hope this video gave you a lot of confidence now in deciding what length you think your pants or jeans should be. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I would love it if you could hit that thumbs up if you loved this video and also subscribe. And love your neighbor, be kind, and I'll talk to you next time.